done. Death. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's seven people in here. Holy shit. Hey, guys, welcome to the stream. We're currently running um, a virgin run through of the... Oh, shit. Thanks, asshole. Oh, shit. Level 63. That's badass. Man. Anyways, we're right here. We're getting towards the end. Vengeance. What is that? That's the damn... Vengeance. Oh, that's actually a really cool skill, but the turrets are really important for our play style, so you know. Oh shit, we've unlocked all of these. Bomb the target location, freezing enemies in the area. Let's try that. Yeah, get them all, get them all, get them all. Aw oh, man. You know what's really different about that uh, that skill when you change the runes, Tony? It actually in, uh, changes the cooldown. When you use the higher level runes, you have a, a higher amount of cooldown to deal with. Huh. That's interesting. Need more time. I hate how they keep showing that. It's like, who cares? Okay, Imperius can come in and blow stuff up. Nobody gives a shit. He's dumb, you're dumb. Whatever. I'm just happy to be playing the game. It's, I'm just really happy. I'm, I'm actually extremely happy I was able to get a hardcore character this far. Um, I can't do that. Because uh, it was definite. there was definitely no guarantee that I would be able to get level up so high. Oh wow, we fucked them up. Yeah, get out of there. I'll let you do the work. Good job. Is a hey, can you make me a sandwich while you're killing all the bosses? I'd appreciate that. That would be nice. It would make me happy. Alright, so here we are at the abandoned siege camp. We gotta grab two siege runes. Yeah, I know what's happening. Because I've done this like a million times. Just not on hardcore, so, you, see the you know. That is the the battering ram section that's coming up here minutes. after maybe but it is 15, 10, 15 minutes of grinding is actually pretty cool. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. Oh you man. Come on, work, work, work. Below. Go faster. Imprisoned Give us the plot. The Come on, we know. Them. You have a big stupid halo Once and big dumb rooms, robot angel wings. But no Thank you. Nephilim. Thank you. Why don't you just tell us in an audio log so we can run around? I will not thank you the audio logs have been so useful. Your I actually really like the audio logs as a plot driving device simply because it's like, you know, you don't have to stop what you're doing to, to, you know, listen to it and get the plot. And that's neato. War belt. Here. So, I was talking earlier about how Malthael's plot, or Malthael's plan, the main bad guy, makes no goddamn sense in reference to what the hell's going on here. Because here we are in Pandemonium, and we are clearly fighting demons. Now, I know it says in the character description that we are fighting ancient beasts, right? But they are clearly demons. I mean, look at them. What are they? What are they supposed to be like? Cthulhu-esque nothings from before the dawn of time, and they're not actually demons, just because they're not evil. Like what the f what the fuck is that? Because his whole plot and his whole plan is to now that the prime evil has been destroyed, to kill all the humans because they have demon blood, in them, right? Because they're half human or half demon, half angel. So. He wants to kill all the humans, but, you know, here we fucking are in Pandemonium, and there are these Cthulhu-esque horror demon things. And it's like, where does the classification set? I mean, I know you can't just fight, like, fallen angels the entire time here, but, I mean, it just makes no sense. 
And I know, why are you bitching about a video game? Just kill all the enemies, you dumb bastard. Stop being an idiot. But still, I don't know. I shouldn't be overthinking this. This is their home? Oh god, look at these assholes. Yeah, there's one down. They're actually dying really quickly. Oh fuck, they all died. They all died, man. They're dead, man. I know why he's hiding here. When I say his plan, I'm referring to his plan of killing all humans. Because that'll be the end of all demon blood. But here we are fighting these Cthulhu-esque, clearly demonic horrors in Pandemonium. Are you trying to make this more super serial than what it actually is, Tony? Chat man. Oh, there we go. Switch the side my headset was on. Oh, man. Yeah, kill a big tunneler, dude. Big dumb fish face. You got a big dumb fresh face, bro. Bro, your face is dumb and fishy ass. ass. Got a big dumb fishy face. Fishy, fishy, poo poo. I understand the plot, Tony. You don't need to explain the plot to me in the chat. I understand it. I just still think it's kind of dumb and contrived and just like, we need something. We need some idea to help drive the player. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to find a reason to bitch just because Dark Souls 2 is about to come out tomorrow and I'm going to be playing the bejesus out of that game. Uh, let's see. While I'm sitting here bitching at my friggin' mod, hey everybody, welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're enjoying what you see. Uh, we're currently getting towards the end of our... Um, full playthrough of um, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls on Hardcore. Um, it's a virgin run through, which means we're not except we're playing through it solo. Um, we're not getting any help from higher level characters either on this account giving us new items or other people coming in and joining us. Um, and Hardcore means that in the game when you die you only have one life, so if you die your character is actually dead you lose that character permanently. Uh, kind of a super crazy high stakes thing um yeah so yeah that's what we're doing here i hope you guys enjoy it um we're actually very close to the final boss on top of everything else we're doing so uh stick around you don't want to miss it also if we die at the final boss holy fuck will i laugh until i die until i literally die he dies uh, let's see, Tony in the chat is asking me about Dark Souls 2. Um, he's asking if I got, or if I'm downloading Dark Souls 2, or if I purchased a physical copy. I actually am downloading it. I have, uh, pre-ordered it off of the Xbox Store, and I already own it. It's already fully downloaded. I just need to download whatever, now you can play this patch or update, whatever comes out on day one. Um, and then I'll be able to play it. So if I wanted to, I could download it at, like, midnight tonight and start playing the fucking game, but I don't know if I'll have the energy for that. Yeah, kill him. Grab that. Hey, a boss. Boss, boss, boss. Boss, boss, boss. Oh, well, these guys are no fucking joke. I mean, they're not really hurting me, but, uh... I probably shouldn't be standing in their damage fields like an idiot. Let's see, is this better for me? No, it's terrible. It's terrible. I can't believe I haven't been able to pick up any death's breath here. Despite my level. Just jump down this way. 
are we supposed to go? We're supposed to be getting siege runes, which means we actually have to thoroughly explore this entire area. So I am going to explore north before I head down south, because there's a lot of stuff down there. And I don't want to miss anything and have to backtrack too much. So if I get to the end of this and it's just a little, you know, the edges of the map up north, then perfect. Otherwise, we don't know if we don't have to run back to this part or not. So let's continue on fighting ancient beasts. Ancient beasties! So now my question is, if these are ancient beasts that existed before the eternal conflict of good and evil, then how is there a before an eternal thing? Because if it's eternal, it's supposed to be last forever and infinite and whatever. So how is there that, you know, that stuff? Oh look, there's a thing up here. An entrance to occupied ruins. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna have to go back south at some point, at which point we will check that out. Oh man, there's actually just a ton of sh a ton of uh, optional areas to check out up here for the looks of it. Cool. There's actually some pretty neato events here in uh, Pandemonium. Here, but I need to collect the siege runes before I can use it. Oh, this is where I have to go. This is the end state here. Okay. So we didn't have to go this way yet, but now we know we have to go that way at some point. So there will be a bunch of dumb backtracking, but fuck it. Brick money squad. Something, something. Stop the demon resurrection. We need your aid. The servant of a demon lord is attempting to revive its master. It must be stopped. This sounds stupid. You're stupid. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> Love blowing them up. See, there's actual demons here. What is up with throwing demons at us when the story is there's already demons, or all the demons are dead, and the only demons that are left are the demon blood inside humans? Like, that's stupid. You're stupid. You're a stupid face. You got stupid butt chin. Makes no sense. Blowing up urns for no good goddamn reason. No, you're stupid, Tony. Explosions. Oh, look at the boss kind of derping around up there. Oh. I do pay attention. They tell you specifically the only reason Malthael is fighting people is because they're the last vestiges of Humanita. Or, the, the humanity is the last vestiges of demons. They say it. Oh, that guy got his butt in there good. There we go. All right. Man, okay, finally, we got a golden arrow pointing us towards our next objective here. Because we got to get them damn siege runes. Because once we get once we get the siege runes and we get into the Pandemonium Fortress, that's it. The Pandemonium Fortress is the final dungeon. Fenial. Fenial Dungeon. We're going to do it. Burn them out. You guys were frozen in time. Now you're frozen in arrow death. Death, arrow death, kill. Kill explosion. Ooh, could this be better? Nope. Not at all. Alright, one siege, your da siege rune down. There we go, words. I just got one left. These damn tunnelers keep coming up trying to get my butt. They want it. Want it, you guys? 
I want to feel it. Grab it! Yay, explosions. 